So as um, technology has grown over the past few years, we've had amazing opportunities to basically work with um, techniques like CT scanning um, for our human remains, our mummies, also a lot of our animal um, mummifications as well. So this gives us a great opportunity to um, have a look basically digitally inside the mummies to see what's going on without having to unwrap the mummies or disturb the human remains in any way. We've been working in liaison with um, hospitals across the UK being able to use their CT scanning machines as well as with some of our larger material um, using um, veterinary services who have slightly bigger areas um, usually used for horses so that's been an exciting opportunity. The data that we can get out of that we have found that basically we can penetrate quite deeply into the human remains and virtually peel back the uh, mummification layers, the resin layers, the skin layers, the musculature um, to such a point that, for example, in Nesta Wedgets, um, we can actually see a very well preserved example of the heart still in position within the uh, mummy. Sex the mummies, age the mummies, but also kind of get some details about their diet as well. Um, some of our mummies have abscesses in their teeth for example, or they have um, de um, degrading bones in certain areas, and then we can extrapolate from that um, the things that they were eating, their health in general. So we're able to get a lot of data out of it. So what we can do with CT scanning is we can then see these amulets placed all amongst the wrapping, close to the body, beautiful um, beadwork, jewellery, amulets, placed in very specific areas for very specific ritual purposes. So it's a great opportunity to see different rituals that are going on without having to unwrap the human remains.